But you'll soon see whether I'm right or not. All of you! Mr. Skoblovsky, the enigmatic Russian music teacher. Good morning, girls. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Skoblovsky. Oh, remain standing, remain standing. To begin today's class, we are going to begin with reciting the school poem. Ah, my don. After three, a one, two, three! In days of old, the female sex, female learning, they had none. But now, Stop, 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 Anietta! We have much to do if you have to present yourselves at the end of term concert. You speak straight from the throat, and not enough from here. You strain the voice. However, there is one excellent voice amongst all of you. It is this young lady here. Please, would you uh, read the next verse alone? Proud girls and women teach and learn in many a famous hall. But of them all, there's none more dear than that of Grangewood School. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Did you mark how she controlled her voice and her breathing? Uh, you are the new girl. Uh, what is your name? Daisy Meredith, sir. Ah, Meredith. A Welsh name. You have a voice truly representative of that musical nation. I shall see that you have a solo in the end of term concert. And you, Miss Burlington. Yeah. If you wish to take your place in the choir this year, you have to prove to me that you are not as torn deaf as you <laughs> seem to be. <laughs> now, to finish, we shall recite once more in time. One, two, three! We have much work to do. Dismissed! Oh, so I am not tone deaf! <laughs> Odd unpleasantness from Monica and Sybil. That is, until one night after prep, when she and Trixie were systematically tapping panels in hope to find a secret passage that led them to the treasure. <laughs> and what are you two girls doing here? Don't you know that the gallery is out of bounds to all but teachers and prefects? Yes, sir. Then kindly tell me why you are here, or I shall have to report you to your former mistress. If you choose not to tell me, you will have to tell Miss Granville and perhaps receive an order mark. We were searching for the treasure. Treasure? The lost treasure of the Beaumont family. <gasps> I see. Well, you will not find it here. I myself have, have often sought its whereabouts and have examined this entire section of the building and that building multiple times and have found uh, nothing. However, if you come across anything new, I should be most happy to know about it. I myself am fascinated by the folk tales of the English. <laughs> Good night, ladies. <laughs> Daisy, why in the dickens did you tell him what we were doing? Yes, the Beaumont treasure does exist. You see, kiddies, the mystery centres around my grandfather, the late Sir Digby Beaumont, and he was a tremendously eccentric gentleman who, as he got older, became more and more impatient as he thought lower standards of the younger generation. This led to endless arguments in the family, especially with the younger of his two sons, my uncle David. He left home after a particularly vehement quarrel with Sir Digby and he's not been seen or heard of since. How tragic. Shortly after the quarrel, Sir Digby died and his wealth. All manner of family heirlooms, money, valuables disappeared. In his will, it was revealed that he had hidden these treasures somewhere within the walls of Grangewood and a list of clues leading to its whereabouts so complicated that it can only be unravelled by someone who has wit enough to unravel the clues. My father hunted unceasingly for the treasure right up until his death four years ago. and. Since then, no one's had much impetus to carry on with this search. Oh, and another important clue lies with my Uncle David, but no one's seen him in 20 years or so. There's little hope there. Oh, tragic. And tell him it wasn't us that sneaked on them, and we plan to find out who did sneak on them and expose them to the entire school! At that moment, however, Mr. Skoblovsky entered to commence his geography lesson with Zifov. Good morning, girls! Good morning, Mr. Skoblovsky!
sit, 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 sit. Open up your geography textbooks to page 34, that is a free four. Today, we are going to study Peru. Daisy opened her book to the appropriate page, and as she did, a piece of paper fluttered out of the book and onto the floor. Daisy paled as she went to pick up, realising that Sybil Burlington had also seen what was printed on the piece of paper. Before we begin today's class, I will read the results of last Wednesday's geography test. A beginning from the bottom. Sybil Burlington, 21 <laughs> out of 100 marks. Adola Johnston, 48 out of 100 marks. Monica Smithers, 74 out of 100 marks. Tulexi Martin, 81 out of 100 marks. Belinda Matheson, 20, uh, 91 out of 100 marks. Don't worry, Belinda. Daisy Melody, 93 out of 100 marks. Well done, especially to Belinda and Daisy. Very good. Sybil, I am surprised at you. Your marks are usually better than this. If they continue to be this appalling, I shall have to send you down to the first form for geography lessons. <laughs> geography was the second lesson that morning which failed to leave an impression on Daisy's mind, for which was whirling with other matters far from the jungles and mountains of Peru. You may put your books away now, girls, but before you go, I would like to see those singing a solo in the end of term concert, just outside the music block at four o'clock. Class dismissed! Oh, so rude. But we didn't promise Claire that we wouldn't go there, did we? <laughs> uh, someone's coming, quick, hide! <laughs> Avoid <laughs> 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 people like the plague. Right, the bell. We'll be late for science. Come on. Daisy Meredith! Excuse me, Mr. Skoblowski. I'm going to be late for la class. Ah, I hope it is not because you are treasure hunting. Oh, no. We gave that up when we realised only the juniors believed in it. Mr. Skoblowski was not convinced. However, I know very well that you and the other girl were in the library the other night, and I know you had the book. Please, Mr. Skoblowski, you're scaring me. I intend to find it. It is imperative. You do not realise that. Come on, Daisy. We'll be late. What the... This is not over. He knows we've got the book. Oh, no.